What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our Web3 education. If you guys are brand new here and like everything Web3, slap a like on this video and be subscribed with notifications on. Now, in this episode, I've teamed up with BitDeer. If you guys are new to the channel, I did a ton of mining content. Once upon a time, I did a bunch of collaborations, including with Seth Estrada over there at Mine Your Biz, and I talked about Nice Hash a lot. Once upon a time, this was gosh, like six or seven years ago now on the on the channel. Now, over the years, cloud mining popped up. And this was kind of a controversial take in the mining community because everybody was really interested in, you know, ASIC miners and GPUs and things like that, CPUs and all that. So there was a lot of emphasis on kind of anti-cloud mining for a while. And then Genesis mining came in, a lot of big players came in. The really cool thing about partnering up with BitDeer is that they have huge facilities here in the US. They're in Tennessee, Washington, Texas, Norway, they're all over the world. But in the US, they have a huge footprint with an emphasis on reliable energy and renewable energy. And this is such a really important concept because people talked about, you know, Bitcoin mining being terrible for the environment, yet all the institutions that you run your regular payment rails on have no <laughs> accountability for that. So there, there's just a lot of weird behavior from PR or press and, and mining. So what I'm gonna do in this video is unpack some of the really cool components that BitDeer is working on. I really like the hash rate marketplace because I've been looking for something different than NiceHash for many years. They've been ripe for disruption for a long time. Also bringing some established credibility to the cloud mining space, it has been key for years. So seeing this level of operation, offering institutional services, AI computing, now that that is all the rage, or people can just get started in an AI playground, whip up some GPUs, start training LLMs, and just really get started quickly. And the mining component, of course, to generate those sweet, sweet passive income returns. The three main components that I'm gonna talk about when I jump onto their site here in a second is the AI resources that they have available for people that are interested in getting into AI with all of the magnitude of this facility and all the facilities they have. A lot of people don't really remember that you know, GPUs are great for mining, but they're also just getting vacuumed up by the AI community right now. So I wanna talk about that. Then I wanna talk about the institutional services. Bring institutions into mining at scale is something that's been around for a while behind the scenes and seeing operations like BitDeer getting started with their data centers and everything, it's really important to support these types of initiatives because a lot of institutions don't wanna carry certain things on their balance sheet, but they also want to have exposure and they wanna be able to get access to this sort of passive income stream. And lastly, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the cloud computing piece. There's a lot going on with BitDeer, a lot of services, a lot of products, but I'm gonna talk about those to really lead the way here on the site. So without further ado, let's jump onto their platform. All right, so the first piece I wanna cover here is the data center. The key features here are that this has been around since 2013. Huge thing to be around for over 10 years at this point, just because usually the people that can last the longest in the Bitcoin space reap a lot of the benefits over time. It's very, very difficult to ride the markets as a miner. Having done it myself, it is extremely difficult. The next one is, of course, the commitment to environmental responsibility and increased use of carbon-free energy. This is not really talked about with AI right now. Uh, it's mainly just people throwing, <laughs> throwing shade at Bitcoin mining, but uh, this is a really good thing to focus on because it is a drop in the bucket on a global scale when we talk about supporting the Bitcoin network and mining. Now, I think the innovations, the of course, the global footprint here, North America, Europe, Central Asia, and uh, you know Southeast Asia, I think that there's, there's a lot to talk about, and I, I just wanna highlight the features here. There's so much to dig into, but the North America piece is, is key for people to know that it's legitimate, it's here to stay, and it's been around for 10 years. That is very key. So I think that the setup of the data centers 
is pretty key for institutions, but we'll get into that in a second. So we have the uh, quick overview here, Tennessee, Washington, and you can kind of see the quick high level there. Of course, they have the overview of each center. 2018 was when Washington was set up. 2019 was when Texas was set up. 40% carbon free as of December 31st. 100% carbon free in Washington. 60% carbon free in Tennessee that was set up in 2020. And it's really cool to see the, the backstories here. It was purchased by Panasonic before that in Texas. It was an abandoned aluminum plant. And then the one in Washington is, looks like um, it is the first one that they set up. So from the ground. So really cool to see recycling of big old buildings, you know, and I think that the Rust Belt has a lot to learn around this. And then we have 2019 in Norway, 100% carbon free in Tidal in 2020 in Norway, 100% carbon free. So it's a really, really cool, uh, really, 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 really cool concept that they're 100% carbon free across multiple of these locations, but fascinating to see the scale being done on the data center side. So three steps, create an account, select the mining plan, start earning. This is in reference to the cloud mining piece and you can really get involved there. Wanted to cover quickly the AI cloud, the, uh, the cloud computing, of course, miner base, mining Sentry, and mining OS are products also that they offer. I'm not going to jump into that too much, but the hash rate market is what I mentioned before that is super fundamental to getting people in early and you're able to sell hash rate, buy and sell hash rate, which is super key. And just for emphasis, the nice hash, uh, marketplace was huge, absolutely gigantic back in 2016, 2017. And a lot of people can, can confirm that crazy things happened to nice hash over the years that kind of brought them down. But it's really important to know that that is a, a fundamentally full business on its own. Now, AI cloud, we have the instances, we have the playground and the garden. So really clever way of setting this up where, you know, you have the ability to set up with GPUs, a bunch of different instances. And then of course you have the playground to test and tune all the different AI applications. And then you have the app garden where it's ready to use applications. So it's a vertically integrated, you know, from the bottom up way of starting, playing with testing and learning and getting people to utilize the app, the apps themselves. So we have the cloud hash rate where you can mine anytime, anywhere, very easy to use. One of the biggest deals of what BitDeer is doing is that they have a strategic partnership with NVIDIA, which is massive now for everything AI, NVIDIA has been blowing up. And for everybody that's new to AI, this is pretty much the gold standard company for GPUs and being able to develop large language models using their technology. So a strategic partnership with them is huge. Lastly, go through the institutional service. Super pumped that they're working with a ton of really well-known brands and institutions. And this isn't something that a lot of institutions talk about because they don't wanna be known that they're keeping things on the balance sheet. Now that FAFSA has changed, how people in accounting in large institutions can hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. I'm curious to see what BitDeer is going to do here with including that in their services, because now that it's more available and easier for institutions to hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet, this is going to change the game for getting institutions in through mining. Now, a quick rumor is that BlackRock and some of these large institutions are mining Bitcoin at scale in the background, not necessarily using BitDeer, but this is a general speculation that a lot of people have messaged me about, asking me about it, what my thoughts were as a way to acquire Bitcoin without completely disrupting the price. And that's why hash rate has exploded. Of course, the halving's coming up, but a lot of people have speculated that institutions behind the scenes are rapidly trying to acquire as much Bitcoin as possible through mining to not disrupt the market. 
So we have the all-in-one cloud hosting. You can buy your own miner and we will host it on your behalf. This was a concept called co-location, I believe, a couple of years ago. Uh, so all-in-one cloud hosting is a way better brand than co-location. I never really understood how that, how that could work out when people were trying to do that, probably like five years ago. So uh, I also like that, you know, there's a service here. There's consultants that are gonna help you because mining is complex to say the least. So you have your analytics, you can track real time. Very important to follow on the resources, their news. And of course, you know, they have a bunch of different announcements and ways that you can learn about different types of mining and how AI is going to basically change the game for mining and mining facilities like this, because it's a whole new revenue stream that's very exciting. And I like seeing that they've been around for over 10 years, and this is just a, a rock solid option. That's it for my overview of BitDeer. If you guys like it, slap a like on this video. To do a quick recap, everything that they've been talking about on their platform is substantial, real, and backed by a fully credible entity here in the United States. I've talked to many, many miners over the years. I've been a miner myself on a very small scale. They got like 40 GPUs running at one point in 2017, shut them down in 2018 because it was just like a catastrophic year. And there was just so many different things that I couldn't do and I couldn't scale it up. I didn't know how to scale it. And that layer of just huge barrier to everyone has prevented mining to really enter the mainstream. And I think that BitDeer has done a great job with their branding, allowing people to come in, do the cloud mining first, dip their toe in, get ready to learn a little bit more about how much you can earn. And they have some different pieces to that with education, a lot of resources around learning around mining and just dipping your toe in there. And then the AI piece is huge. I love that they've been focusing on that. And I just I can't emphasize enough the importance of being able to interchange between mining and using things for LLMs and AI in general. I think it's really key to know that, that this is going to be something that people bring up over the next 10 years a lot. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about the <laughs> implications of the environment when it comes to AI with the huge amount of GPUs required to run these different types of AI and generative AI pieces on the internet. So not really hearing too many critics about that yet. <laughs> we will over the next 10 years, but I like that they have really focused on renewable energy and the verticals that they're focusing on are pretty key. So that is it for this video. Slap a like on this video. Once again, this is a sponsored review. Love partnering with awesome brands of the channel. The links will be in the description below. Give them a check out, give them a follow. And that is it. I will see you here on the next episode of Hack.